So this is the Letterman Sidekick. I've had this multi-tool for over a year now. I've been using it on and off. It's not a, not a bad tool at all. Uh, I just wanted to give my impressions of it and uh, for any of you guys out there thinking about buying one. This is one of their Letterman's entry model, entry level multi-tools. My criteria for having one, for getting one was I wanted to make sure I wanted a pair of pliers and I wanted obviously a knife. Uh, those were my two criteria. I really wanted pliers and a knife. Those are what I use the most. Um, what's really nice is that this only cost, I think it was under $50, um, whereas their higher end models are uh, quite a bit more pricier. Not, maybe not too pricey, but certainly over the $100 mark. Um, okay, so what does this come with? It came with the Letterman tool, a, letter, a Letterman Letterman case um, that's nylon with a belt loop. Fits nice in there. I don't really use that much. Um, and then the this carabiner came with it as well. With this hex, I think it's for driving hex bits. So if you have the hex bit accessory, you can use that to turn bits. Um, and a bottle opener. And then the carabiner itself is uh, can be used to hold on to the to the letterman itself because there's a lanyard loop in here and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, okay, so what's this made out of? It's made out of stainless steel. I believe it's 420 stainless steel high carbon for the blade itself. So it's a tooling steel of some sort, I think. Um, so I think all of the other blades might be made from that as well. I can't say for certain. It just on the website it just references the blade as being 420 high carbon stainless steel um, okay has a belt clip that I really like using I don't really use the case much I use the belt clip more I like that I can put it in my pocket and then I can just pull it out of my pocket like that and then I have access to the knife really easily so one-handed operation I really like that that was really important to me to have to be able to open the knife with one hand so that can be really useful in times when you only have one hand or you're holding something. So belt clip gets a gets an okay by me. It's holds solid in your uh, not belt clip, sorry, pocket clip holds nice and solid in your pocket, um, and it's nice and deep. So it holds the whole tool into your pocket, so it's not really uh, not really visible, and it won't bounce around if you're jumping around or if you're moving. It won't fall out of your out, fall out of your pocket. Okay, on the other side, um, opposite of the the knife is the saw. The one complaint I have is some of these are hard to get out. Um, it's they're, they're, the tolerances are pretty tight, um, so it's pretty stiff to open the saw. Um, maybe it's because I don't use it that often. Also, the saw and the knife have a good liner lock. I quite like that so you don't close it down on your fingers. So again, liner lock on this side. Um, so yeah, so that's the X, that's what you can ac uh, access from the uh, outside of the tool. Now when you open it up, you have the pliers. And I guess I should mention the dimensions of it. When it's closed, it's uh, 3.8 inches in length, and it weighs seven ounces. And the blade itself, the this blade here is 2.6 inches. So inside, what do we got? We got the pair of pliers, needle nose, regular plier jaws, and right here, and then wire cutters. The wire cutters aren't that good. I'm a little disappointed in those. Um, as you can see, the tolerances aren't that good. You can see a gap there, maybe. Hopefully, it shows up on the camera. But um, for cutting small wires, uh, I ha I've had some problems with it. Eh, a little disappointed in that. Um, okay, so to act to access the all of the other tools, accessories, to get them out, you have to push on the back here, on the outside of the tool. And then, if you don't have fingernails, it can be hard to sometimes get these tools out unless you really push it on these to get them all the way out, so you can grab a hold of them and open them. That's a minor irritant, um, but it's okay. So. We have a serrated blade here, serrated knife blade, good for cutting rope. So that's that guy there. File, 
small small screwdriver flathead, a ruler with inches and centimeters right here, and then a bottle opener. So a bottle opener and a can opener here, and then a wire stripper right here, and then their lanyard loop. So the lanyard loop is this guy right here. So you can use that for a lanyard or the carabiner. You can fit the carabiner on it. And you can hang it off stuff, your belt, what have you. So you can tie your lanyard on that. It's a piece of rope. On the opposite side, there's only two things left. There is a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, the one thing I should mention is none of these accessories have a lock, so you got to be careful if you're using the knife on the other side for the serrated blade that you don't close it on yourself, don't use it to be pushing on things. Um, so they, it does give you a positive lock, so you can hear it, clicks open, nice and solid, and then to close it you just push hard and it closes. So overall, not a bad tool. Uh, I like it, I carry it around, I use it, and uh, so far... I haven't had any issues with it. It's well built, like uh, like all Letterman products, I suppose. At least that's what I hear. Uh, my buddy has uh, the Letterman Wave, and he's had it for years, and he really loves his. So um, my my overall impressions of the Sidekick are it's pretty good. Now, if you want something a little bit higher quality, uh, maybe go for something a little bit more expensive. But for an entry level multi tool, this certainly uh, meets my requirements. So. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this review helpful. And uh, good luck if you're uh, thinking about getting one.